Dr. Judy, I want to ask, is there anything that she can do to lessen that desire? Absolutely. I think with these types of addictive behaviors, it's all about learning healthier replacement behaviors and retraining your dopamine system again. Yes. Very interestingly, there's a there's a calming and soothing effect to repetitiveness. And so hmm. some of that Total, food intake is oh, yeah. it, it makes you're like your not brain, even tasting it, you're just yeah, uh, yeah. It makes yes. your brain calm. And so yeah. one thing that you can do to substitute, which is a healthy behavior, mm -hmm. is adult coloring book. Have you guys heard of this? Yes. Adult coloring I book? I have one. I've never you used do? it. Okay. Okay. I've never this used is a great it's replacement great. behavior for two reasons. Okay. One is okay. repetitive, so it does calm your brain. And two, what people are drawn to with the uh, coloring is that it is something that you can produce that's uh -huh. sort of a beautiful thing and you can really focus on it. And it takes your hands away. Your hands are busy. Yes. You're coloring. Yes. So you can't also be eating at the same time. And mm -hmm. that's a true replacement behavior if it stops you from doing the harmful behavior. And for you, mm -hmm. Jeremy, I know that you've been helping a lot with sort of trying to get her attention when she's sort of already gone into that zone. Mm -hmm. And one thing that you can do further is if she's not paying attention, just physically reach out, mm -hmm. right? Because that's the way that you can really grab her attention yeah. if she's not focused on yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I think that's even good to articulate because I have done that in times where you just feel like I notice where the attention has gone, I'll kind of just try to, yeah. but even having talked it about it now like, where it yeah, can yeah. be a, a known thing where if we're eating and I touch you that it's sort of like a, we're still, I'm still here, you're still here, we're all still mm -hmm. present in this, you know. And that doesn't feel like, and it never does from Jeremy, just for anybody watching, it doesn't feel like judgment then, right? It's not just mm, like right. quit that behavior because you already feel shame about it. You yes. know, that's why you're eating basically is, um, that shame, anxiety, and and yeah, this feels like I love you. You're you're mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, especially because when you're in that moment, whatever Jeremy says might be misconstrued, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're in a certain momentum. Oh, I'm on one. Yeah, right. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. But totally. the physical touch is so important mm -hmm. to not only draw attention, but to say, hey, no judgment. Just like you guys pointed out. I mean, it's good. it really sounds like they've developed a lot of insight around exactly. it. Exactly. And I want to say, a I strong relationship. I think that Jeremy has undoubtedly been instrumental. Can we give Jeremy a round of yes. applause? Like he is. And so I do want to ask you before we wrap up, if there's someone watching at home and they're struggling right now yeah. with bulimia or another eating disorder, can you give them any advice? First thing I would say before I even say advice is just that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. um, because so much of what's bad about this disease, and I do call it a disease because I think, yeah, I think that's accurate. Um, is that it's so in your mind, and it's so much about the lie that you're alone, there's something really wrong with you, that you're never gonna get better, that you have to hide this, and I would just, I would just dispel that lie, I would just say, it's really common, and yeah. it's unfortunate, but it's not forever, and a lot of how it gets better is sharing with someone that, that will love you through it, and just, even if it's one person, um, just someone in your actual life that can just look back and say, yeah, but you're still Brit, so we're just gonna get through this. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story.